Matt, a disappointing um, way to end that game. What are your, what are your thoughts? Um, I wasn't comfortable at half-time. I didn't think we were playing particularly well, despite being 2-0 up. Um, and there was certainly a threat about the, the opposition today. The, the goals are calamity goals, but poor goals from our point of view. Um, compounded in terms of the first one, where we had three opportunities to put the ball in the back of net and, and make the tie 3-0. They got a real end and score. Second goal, a really poor mistake. Um, but it was just I just felt a, probably a, a softness in terms of all our aspects of play today. Um, in possession, we didn't make any forward passes. Um, played too safe in terms of backward passes too often from our midfield. And, and generally, didn't compete enough when the ball was bouncing around. Um, the pitches are only going to get worse at this time of year. Um, we might not be able to play a, a fluent passing game at times. So you've got to change your game and, and be good enough at certain areas. Um, unfortunately, we, we weren't that today. Um, despite being too up and relatively comfortable first half I can say you're disappointed with a goal second half but as much as we'll criticise the defenders and, and the goalkeeper our attackers have got to take responsibility as well because that's, that's game over um, and it, in a sense the performance um, you allowed Hartlepool back in, into the game second half a little bit to a certain extent to a certain extent we still created chances today and um, still created chances so we say we allowed them back in the game that's, that's good play from them um, but when we were able to gain some control we didn't hold it didn't hold on to that ball long enough, um, too wasteful in possession and I'm poor on the ball today. If you're poor on the ball and then you're not tough enough at the big moments, then, you, then you're in trouble. Um, so we might have just got away with one to a certain extent today because that performance wasn't good enough. There's enough players available now for me to, to make changes, so the players know that, there are no illusions in terms of what it takes to win a, a game of football. The disappointing aspect is we've, we've been so good in recent weeks um, and so strong, so that's, that's something for me to look at and, and for me to pick a certain team for the next game. Um, still in the hat for the next round as well, and it's a chance for the players to put right the wrongs here when they do travel up to Hartlepool. Yeah, but that's three games away at the moment. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got Oxford and, and Northampton to come, so they've got to concentrate on the next game. If they've got a shirt, I suggest they try it at the hardest to keep it, because um, there wasn't enough good performances today. Like I say, it's, it's all over the pitch. The, the headlines will be about the defensive errors in that second period, but it's all over the pitch. They've all got to take a collective responsibility, and myself as manager as well. So we've got to improve certain aspects, um, and we'll start doing that on Wednesday, hopefully.